Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Vidi here back on the Madden 16, and today I want to bring you guys a video that I have never made before, and I want to do this a little bit more often, I want to try and get it out like five, once a week, but this is going to be a story time video, and uh, what you guys are going to be looking at this time is a little bit of highlight plays, some of them you may have seen, some of them you may not have seen, I don't really know what the fuck's going on, so just a bunch of, bull 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 bunch of bullshit playing in the background while I tell you guys this goddamn beautiful story, so, <clears throat> like all wonderful stories start off, it starts off in Walmart. You know, when when does when does going to Walmart ever ever not lead to an amazing story to tell people? So anyways, I'm there. I'm there at Walmart and I am browsing in the cereal, the cereal aisle. And in my particular Walmart, the uh the ooh, ooh, what what cereal am I looking for you ask? Oh, I'll tell you. I'm looking for the most beautiful, most goddamn dirty, disgusting cereal the world has ever seen. That is the Kellogg's S'more cereal. And this was a few months ago. Uh, this was back whenever they uh, discontinued the original s'mores, and then they, uh, those fucking bastards, they, they discontinued the original s'mores, which is bad, it's bad, and then they brought out uh, this disgusting, pathetic excuse of fucking food known as the uh, Crave s'mores, which, if you don't know what Crave is, you've been living under a goddamn rock, because it's taken the nation by storm as the shittiest, most disgusting cereal the world has ever seen. It's basically like pencil shavings put into a bag, and then you add milk to it. They are fucking horrible. And uh, they decided, A, let's inject it with s'mores, and boom, we got ourselves a fucking cereal, and I guess it's cheaper than the normal s'mores, so they just discontinue that shit. But not to worry, uh, as of like a month and a half ago, they re-released it. So, there I was at the time, it was not there, so I was already a little bit upset, which is going to set the tone for this story, okay? So, uh, at my particular Walmart, the cereal aisle is back-to-back -back with the candy aisle, so you got the, ki you, got the, uh, you got the cereal aisle, and then on the other side of it, you have the candy aisle, so you know they're sharing, the shelves are back up against each other, and I'm like putting my hand, like I'm clapping my hands together, but you guys can't see that. Uh, basically, they're back-to-back, -back. and in the candy aisle, there is a couple of people who are looking for candy. They're, they are looking for candy in the candy aisle. Yeah. And these kids had to have been no older than, say, 17. Uh, and these were very young kids. Uh, and they're kids to me. You know, they were younger than me. I'm not even 20. And these people were younger than me. And they had a kid there. And I think it was their kid. I do. Uh, they, they were no older than 17, I promise you. They had a kid, and if you looked at these, the, the, these, this couple of, of children, you would, you would look at them and be like, now that is, a, that is a couple of kids who probably got, uh, pregnant at a young age and had a young child, because they, they just had teenage pregnancy look on their face. Like, you looked at them and you're like, you have a kid. If they didn't have the kid, you'd still know. I don't know how old the kid was, that's not the point right now. So, uh... Basically, they are in this candy aisle, and uh, the kid picks up, like, these Smarties, okay? Apparently, because I couldn't see at this point. I was still on the other side of the aisle getting getting my, my cereal, my <coughs> my piece of shit fucking kelp, my fucking piece of shit crave cereal uh, that I was going to find out later that, or the next morning, that how disgusting that cereal was. Um, but I was a little bit upset, because I had to get the bad cereal, like I had said. And uh, so this kid picks up a bag of Smarties or some shit, and I guess he, he broke the bag open, and this shit gets all over the floor, right? And this 17-year-old dad is not very happy about his kid getting this shit all over the floor. So, uh, like, like the correct parent he is, he decides to backhand the living fuck out of this kid. And this slap was so fucking ferocious, I felt it. I was, like, reaching to get my cereal, and it was, like, just right across. I was like, Ow! Like, it felt, like, I felt it, dude. Like, this kid got fucking smacked. This kid got smacked into another nationality. I poked around the corner, and this kid was black, and his parents were white. This kid got fucking smacked that hard, okay? And, and I'm like, what the fuck? And, like, I, I didn't get to see it. I was, I was just kidding about it. I didn't get to see it yet, but this kid is fucking bawling. This, this kid's fucking bawling his eyes out, right? Obviously, like, this dude got, this kid got fucking smacked there in the middle of Walmart. Because he spilt like 98 cents worth of Smarties all over the floor, and his dad was not very was not very happy about it. So I take my cereal and I walk around to see them. And this is when I get this is when I lo and behold these trailer park trash pieces of fucks that just absolutely smack the shit out of the kid. And the mother, who is probably the same age, maybe a little bit younger, is also very upset with the kid, and is completely fine with the father laying the fucking smack down on this kid. And uh, the kid is slaying on the ground. I'm going to imagine because he got smacked so fucking hard the kid fell on his ass. And the mother just takes him by his arm and just fucking rips him up like a goddamn puppet. 
and and is just whole is just squeezing the shit out of this kid, and he's screaming even louder. So I'm like, yo, you guys, I, you know, I was I was kind of I was kind of like, you guys you guys shouldn't do that in in public. And this guy was very very offended. Okay, this guy, this guy, and he's Mexican too. He goes, you talking to me, hombre? And he like gets in my face, and I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, easy there, Holmes. And he goes, what are you call me, man? I'm like, whoa, whoa. So I I had offended this guy. Okay. So I had offended this guy, and I was like, I was like, it's not that big of a deal, man. I'm like, it's just, it's just 98 cents, just 98 cents worth, worth of candy. And this guy is pissed. This guy is fucking. This guy, 98 cents is a lot of money to this guy, and he is very, he is in my face, and he's be. And I thought that I was gonna end up like his kid. I thought I was gonna get smacked right there in the middle of Walmart. And this guy is very mad. So I'm like, I, and I'm, you know, I'm like putting, my, I'm banging my chest. I'm, I'm, I'm the alpha male. I'm like. I'm like, I'm like, you should not be hitting your kid like that in the store. And and he goes, he goes, that's my kid, I say. You don't know, man. That's my kid. I'm like, yeah, that is your kid. But you, you can't, you, it's same to you. Like, you guys can't be doing this in a public store, okay? And this, this elderly lady with her cart, like, pushes up behind. And she, she tells me to fuck off. She goes, she tells me to fuck myself, okay? She said, it ain't none of your business what they do with their kids. It's like an elderly black lady. And I'm like, fuck you, lady. And I'm like, and I'm making a big scene. And now all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. I'm like, no, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, granny. I'll fucking, I'll pull out your dentures and, and make you fucking, okay? Fuck you, okay? And, and at this point, uh, I turned into the bad guy, okay? So I... <laughs> At this point, these fucking people beat the shit out of their kid, and I make a big deal about it. And all of a sudden, it's my it's my fault. I start a problem, okay? So I'm getting defensive, and I'm freaking. Out. I'm like, no, fuck you. I'm like, no, fuck you guys. And I'm and I and I am looking like an idiot, okay? So this Walmart employee like walks over, and he's like, what's the problem? And the fucking bitch goes, this kid hit my son. I'm like, no, she didn't. She didn't. She did. She did. She goes. This kid hit my stomach. Oh my god! So I take my shitty s'more cereal and I fucking whip it at this guy and I book it. I'm like, I am out of here. And I fucking and I run through the front doors of Walmart and I fucking fall on my goddamn face, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking slipped and I fell and I smacked my fucking face and there's blood pouring. And I'm like, no, no, and I, I get up and I fucking run. And I, and I, I had the car in the park. I ran past the car. I just, I went, I just, I went right past the car, ran down the main road to my house. And I was like, I got to go back and get the car. I got to go back, got to go back and get the car. So I went back and got the car and that's the end of it. Uh, I guess that's the end of it. So if you guys like the video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more shit like this in the future, you know, let me know. Um, my stomach hurts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah.